Imagine a day of school that ends up at a basketball game. That's what hundreds of Lynchburg area students experienced on Thursday. Kids visited the Vine Center at Liberty University for the best field trip ever to watch the Lady Flames basketball team in action. For some of them, it may be the first time and maybe uh, hopefully not the only time they go to a higher education, a, a collegiate or a Liberty University uh, campus and, and be able to just see what a future of of education could be all about. Uh, it's just it's so exciting to uh, play with the little kids behind us and they're just so so happy to be here and they bring so much energy. Uh, my favorite part is when um, they say make some noise and they just go crazy and you can't hear anything. More than 600 kids packed out the Vine Center today to see the Lady Flames play an exhibition game against Anderson College. Liberty won the game 69-66. It's the second straight year that the Lady Flames have hosted the event. And one teacher says her kids have been looking forward to this day for quite some time. They really love uh, being able to make those connections with girls who have gone above and beyond with college doing um, an athletic program as well as their education and really showing the kids that it all starts with reading. So it's been a great uh, time with the girls to know that we have an institution like Liberty who really cares about the future education. Miss Tallman teaches fifth grade at Heritage Elementary School. The Lady Flames spend time reading with her students every Monday morning. She says the team has had a huge impact on her kids and some of them are even already thinking about college life. We as a school try very hard to make it a college based idea that we have the kids knowing they're college ready and talking to girls who are already in college who look like them, who act like them, well not always act like them, but act mature, shows that uh, college is a, a great next step to their life. Each summer, Liberty's Athletics Academic Affairs Office runs a summer bridge program for new student athletes at LU. Part of that program is instilling an initiative to give back to the community. Jess Lloyd, a former student athlete herself, leads the program. In that process, in those three weeks, we get our student athletes out in the community and right from the get-go have them uh, understand the concept of paying it forward. We have them um, serving the homeless, uh, working with our kids in the elementary schools. They are investing in their lives. They're helping them to see you can go to college, you know, that reading is important, that you do want to study and, and take care of your classwork. And, and I think it's exciting because I was even over at Heritage Elementary School, one of the schools this morning, and we were doing a morning exercise program. And as the kids came in, they said, we've got this awesome field trip to go to today, and we get to see the girls that read with us. Heritage was one of five schools at the game. Elementary and middle school students from Alta Vista Combined School, Temple Christian, Appomattox Christian, and Central Elementary also made the trip to LU. The kids got to see some hoops and play games at halftime. By us investing and in going into the schools and being a part of things, they're actually coming out and participating things here on campus and, and particularly coming to our athletic events, which we really appreciate and are excited because while our athletes are working with them in the schools, to then see them come here and be a part of those things, it, it really does make it all come full circle. With the Lady Flames in Lynchburg, I'm Nick Pierce for the Liberty Flames Sports Network.